What's going on guys, Ryan Nelson here. And have you ever tried to make a photo time-lapse in Premiere only to realize it's not loading all of your photos in order? So it starts playing fine, then it just starts skipping around all over the place. And you're like, what's going on? Why is this not loading in order? Well, good news. I have two really quick ways to achieve a perfect time-lapse in Premiere and it takes just a few seconds for each one. So let's dive right in and I'll show you how to create a flawless time-lapse in Premiere Pro. Let's go. So first thing to do with Premiere Pro open, create a new bin to put your photos in, or if you have all your photos in one folder, just drag that folder right into Premiere, loads all the photos in, no problem. So then we're gonna create a sequence, make that whatever dimensions works for you. I usually go a 4K 4096 by 2160, do whatever works best for you or what fits the project you are working on. So for the first method to work properly, we're gonna to need to go into our Premiere Pro preferences under Premiere Pro preferences timeline. And where it says still image duration, we're gonna to wanna to change that to one frame. Sometimes it doesn't let you do one frame, it just wants to do two. I found that if you just type one, go over and select the frame or seconds, then it allows you to do one. I don't know why it does that. Anyway, it's way around that. So hit OK. After you hit OK, restart Premiere, make that take effect. So once you have Premiere back open, just create a new sequence if you haven't done already. Go ahead and take that folder and just drag it straight into the timeline. Now it looks like everything is loaded properly. Each frame is one frame. So we're gonna play that and see how it plays. It starts playing real nice, but then you see it gets pretty jittery. As you can see, it just doesn't line up. It's not in the order we wanna be in. Why is it doing this? I don't know, but a quick way to fix this. All right, so under your project tab, if you're looking at it in list view, you're gonna have to switch to icon view, double click your bin with the photos in it. And then over here, we're gonna sort icons by name. Then you should be able to select all and then drag them back down again. And now they should play back in order. See, this is looking much better. It's in the order we shot it. This is what I'm looking for. Good to go. So method number two is pretty similar. One big difference is you don't have to go set that default still duration in your preferences. You can leave that at five seconds, two seconds, whatever works for you. So let's dive right in. I'll show you method number two. So it's gonna start off very similar. Create a new sequence if you haven't already. Go over to icon view, double click this. We're going to sort by name, and then we're going to select one and then hit Control or Command A to select all of them. Then we're gonna to automate to sequence. So ordering, we're gonna make sure that is sort order. Placement is gonna be sequentially. Method is overwrite. And that will overwrite from your playhead on. So make sure you're not overwriting anything, any edits that you've already done. It's always best to do this in a new sequence so you're not gonna overwrite anything. So clip overlap is gonna be zero. And then frames per still, we're gonna do one frame. Hit OK. And then that loads this sequence right into this timeline. We're gonna go down here, hit play. It's playing back really nice and smooth. And that's what we're looking for. So from here, you should just be able to export that time-lapse, have a perfectly synced time-lapse export, or create a new sequence and be good to go. Your time-lapse looks good, correct, in the correct order, should be good to go. All right, guys. Well, that's what I have for you today. Tell you what, if you like this video, do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button down there, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.